Once we have our content types worked out and some sort of basic organization on our site, usually the next place we want to go is figure out how we want to manage peripheral or sidebar information. In Drupal, these parts of the site are handled primarily with the block system. Blocks are generally smaller pieces of information or functionality that are displayed in various parts of your layout surrounding the main content area. This search box is a block. This tools menu box is a block. If we go to structure, click on block layout, this is where we manage our site's blocks. Down here, our sidebar first block, or sidebar first block region rather, we see the search block and tools block. And we can add new ones by clicking place block and choosing from here. Let's X out of this. If we scroll to the top and click demonstrate block regions, we can we get a visualization of where all the block regions are on our site. This is where sidebar first is, just to the left of the main content area. Notice we have sidebar second, even though our site currently doesn't have a sidebar on the right side. For the most part, if a block region isn't being used, it's just collapsed. So the reason we're not seeing a second sidebar right now is simply because we don't have any blocks placed in that sidebar. Keep in mind, these are theme specific, so many themes will change the layout of your block regions. Some may also add additional block regions. Some may remove block regions. Let's exit this. But we don't want to be restricted solely to the blocks that Drupal comes out of the box with. In most cases, we're going to want to create some blocks of our own. We can do that by going to Custom Block Library. There are a number of ways you can add custom blocks to your site. The most basic way to do so is once you're in Custom Block Library, click Add Custom Block. Then we can create a simple block with a title and some body text. And we would save that. And once we've done so, if we just back up, go to block layout, then whenever we click place block, that block will appear in our list of options here. Another way to create a block is to use views. If we go back to structure and scroll down to views, we could add a new view. And when we create this view, we would click create a block. And the view will work exactly the same as our page views did earlier, except this one would be a block view. Let's go back to views. We can also create block views out of existing views that we've already created primarily for pages. Let's scroll down to editor's choice. Let's edit this view. And we're gonna add a new display. And we're gonna tell it that we want this display to be a block. We're gonna keep everything exactly the same. In fact, even though we only have four items, let's actually just change this to uh, five items max, apply, let's change this to display a specified number of items. We don't want any paging, that's kind of awkward when you're working with blocks. Apply that, apply, and save. So now we have an editor's choice block as well as a page. So if we go to structure, block layout, let's scroll down here and use sidebar second. We're gonna place a block. Right here, we have our editor's choice block. Let's place that. And we will display the title here. We'll stick with the default setting on all of this. Save the block. Now, if we go back to site, we have a nice little editor's choice block. The other primary way to add blocks to your site, if we go back to structure, block layout, this is new to core in Drupal 8. If you go to custom block library, we can add block types, just like we can have content types. So let's go to types add a custom block type, we'll create an add block type. I'm not going to worry about a description for now. Let's click save. And now let's manage the fields on our add block type. Let's add a field. Let's say every add is going to, of course, need a link 
to whoever the advertisement belongs to. We'll just call this field the URL. Save and continue. One value. We will require this so we don't accidentally put an ad up without a link going back to the customer's site. Let's say for this type of link, we want external links only. Link text is optional. This is whether you want the link to appear as the URL or as some other text that links to that URL. Save settings. And we'll add another field. We probably want an image on our ads. So that's images are under reference. Click on image. We'll just call this image. Save and continue. No default image, just one value. We won't necessarily require this field. Let's say I'm going to remove PNG because once again, I have issues with this particular operating system. It doesn't really like when I use PNGs and web stuff for whatever reason. But in every case, you're going to want to keep that on there. I'm going to go with a maximum image resolution of 200 by 200 because these are generally going to be small images. And we'll say minimum of 50 by 50 so we don't accidentally upload something that's too small to even really work there. And we'll give this a one megabyte maximum size. We won't require the alt field. Save settings. And let's actually remove the body field. Just delete that. And in its place, we'll add another text field. We're going to go with text formatted. Not formatted long, not with summary, just text formatted. This is going to be a shortish text field that we can add formatting to if we want. We'll call this add copy. For the maximum length, let's make this 150 characters. We just want this to be a short little blurb, basically. Save settings. We're going to just keep all the defaults here. And then let's go to manage display. And we'll say we want the image on the top, the add copy in the middle, the URL on the bottom. We don't want labels on any of these. So we'll choose hidden for all of them and then save our changes. And now let's test this out. Let's go to structure block layout, custom block library, add a custom block. Now it's going to ask us whether we want to just do a basic block like earlier or an add block. We're going to do an add. We'll say this is a fender add. The URL will go with fender.com. For the link text, let's just go with Fender Guitars. You can grab any image you have lying around just to test this out. I have an image of a Fender of my own that I haven't played in years. And for the ad copy, let's just go with Fender seriously makes some great guitars. Check them out. And save that. Now, go back to block layout. Let's place this in our sidebar second as well. We'll put it beneath editor's choice. Place block. Here we have Fender Add available to us now. Click place block again. Uh, we're not going to display the title. We don't want to say Fender Add at the top. We just want it to be an advertisement. Save block again. And now, if we go back to site, we have our Fender guitar ad. A simple image, a little bit of text, and a link to Fender's website.